This is Justin Case of American Newscape. Please join our friend and mentor, Joyce Rockwood, for some enlightenment on how she teaches healing from the inside out. Joyce joins us today to share a remarkable natural health solution, weight loss made easy with proper food combining. Hello, Joyce. Hello, Justin. Welcome back, back to American Newscape. So great to be here again. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share more about how I support my clients with healing from the inside out. Let's get right to it. Please enlighten us. What is food combining? You know, Justin, I often work with purpose-driven entrepreneurs and busy professionals who are struggling with various aspects of their health, whether it be their digestion, low energy, or really poor sleep. And what I help them to understand is it's not just what they eat, but it's how they eat it that makes the biggest difference in their digestive health. And digestive health is the foundation for all of the other things that I've already mentioned and more. <laughs> Food combining is one of the aspects that I teach my clients about and anyone listening to this particular interview who's curious to really have more say in their own well-being and feel like they're independently healthy, I teach my clients how to heal from the inside out by focusing on what they eat and the combinations of the foods that they're eating. Because when foods are properly paired, they digest better, faster, there's less gas, and there's definitely less bloating in the body. So food combining, very simply, is the optimum combinations of foods to improve and enhance digestion, proper nourishment, and elimination. Wow, so to understand food combining correctly is a good thing, and I assume miscombining is a bad thing. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> poor combinations, yeah. So poor combinations of foods you know, I'm a great example of this because I was eating everything under the sun because I thought it was just healthy food and didn't realize that the way I was combining them was actually creating a lot of the problems in my body. But when you miscombine various food groups, what happens is there's a lot of slowing down of the digestive process. So for example, one of the food groups that digests the fastest in the body is the fruit group. All the fruits digest very quickly. Those are very optimum foods for the human body. If anyone is listening to this interview right now and is thinking, is she crazy? When I eat fruit, I get completely bloated and gassed up and I even get tons of brain fog. Well, then we need to talk because there's a very clear reason why that's happening. It's not, again, again it's not just what you're eating, it's how you're eating it. So what can happen in the body if you eat fruit, for example, on top of a very um, heavy cooked meal is you're going to experience a response of a lot of gas and a lot of bloating and yeah even that kind of brain fog you might even feel really sluggish you might feel really cramped up and that's because the fruit digests best when it's eaten alone and has the most amount of time to leave your stomach without any other food groups landing on top of it i was a perfect example of someone who had no idea about food combining and was eating fruit after I would eat my cooked meal at lunch and I could not for the life of me figure out what was going on. I thought, if I'm eating so healthy, why am I not feeling as good and looking as good as I think I should? And I did that for several years, I think from the time I was about 16 to 23. But here's the thing, when you optimally combine your foods in the beginning, it might seem a little challenging because we're so used to eating certain foods together once you experience the lightness of being, the better digestion, the more clarity of mind, the better bowel movements, more energy, better sleep, better skin, more vibrancy, youth, all of those things, then the habits become second nature because you're getting the benefits. And we always, typically, we typically are drawn to the actions and the behaviors that yield good results. Think about this, if you put your hand on a hot stove and it burned you, chances of you putting your hand on that hot stove again are going to be pretty few and far between. But when we have these great benefits, we are going to remember what we did and we're going to start those habits in a more subconscious fashion. So just to answer your question, what happens in the body when foods are miscombined is we begin the onset of indigestion, which is a trigger 
for all of the other ailments in the body, whether that's sinus issues, headaches, poor skin, low energy, bad sleep, hormonal dysfunction, you name it, constipation, gas, bloating, diarrhea, all of those things. Wow. So, and, and this also relates to my ability to lose weight when I need to, correct? Absolutely. Right. So if we want to think about food combining in terms of some of the other benefits and one of those benefits being weight loss, since that's the focus of this particular interview, what I would say is this, when you eat a meal, let's say you ate a breakfast and it was properly combined and it was just some fruit, maybe fruit with avocado, which is a fair combination. There's always some exceptions to the rules of eating fruit alone, but let's say you eat a fruit meal in the morning, right? You ate it with uh, some avocado to sort of balance out your blood sugar, which is one of the tips that I give my clients when they are just getting started. Then what you're going to notice is by the time you eat lunch, lunch will land in your stomach in a way that feels very comfortable, very favorable. If you ate a meal in the morning, and let's say it was bacon and eggs, anyone listening out there eat bacon and eggs in the morning? <laughs> The chances of that meal being out of your stomach by the time that you need to eat lunch are very minimal because that meal might sit in the stomach for way more than six hours. Those are two food groups that are not properly combined. They do take a very long time to leave the stomach. And because of that, if you eat again on top of that meal before it has a chance to depart from the stomach, you're going to experience something called carbonic gas or carbonic acid buildup. What that means is whatever was in the stomach first at breakfast has another meal landing on top of it. Instead of the stomach being empty and allowing lunch to land in an empty place, you now have two things fighting for space. When the, the lunch lands on top of that breakfast, what happens is like a trampoline effect. It doesn't really have a big place to go. There's not a lot of surface coverage there. There's not a lot of surface area, air, surface area for it to flow. So it's resisted. Uh, digestive juices which are typically excreted to help break that down are minimal and now the, the stomach is blown up with all of this excessive gas and carbonic acid and the entire process of digestion is slowed down so now instead of the stomach being empty for the time that you're going to eat dinner it's actually still dealing with the fur in it earlier in the day this is an accumulation effect so if you can imagine this going on day after day, week after week, month after month, year upon year, you start to understand why a lot of people's midsections look very distended. You took a pin, you could pop that little belly and all this air would pop out of it, right? So a lot of what happens for individuals is they're walking around full of gas. We call it exogenous gas, gas that's created from the foods we eat. There are many ways that we create gas pressure in the body. One of the ones we have the most control over is through our, through our intakes and also through the, the thoughts that we have. So food combining is related to weight loss because when your foods are properly combined, the stomach does what it needs to do for breakfast, that food moves on. Lunch comes along and can land in an empty stomach, it can digest and it can move on. Dinner, same thing. And you start to see that the stomach, which is a very simple organ doing one thing at a time, can really manufacture some excellent effort on making sure that what we put in our body is efficiently leaving our body. Because detoxification is a two-step process. We get to loosen the waste and then we get to remove the waste. But we can't remove the waste if the stomach is just backlogged with all of this accumulation gas pressure and whatnot and fecal matter for that for the matter down below so the slowing down of the digestive process is one we have control over with the food combinations that we pay attention to weight loss is one of the easiest things to manage when we just properly pair our foods optimize our digestion and increase our eliminations wow 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 can you would you mind sharing your own experience, what you've learned from combining properly? Oh, absolutely. You know, when I first started learning about how to detoxify my body, I was about the age of 23 and I had gotten to the point of severe frustration 
with my immune system, really bad skin issues, weight issues that I just could not seem to address. And I had a couple of years later, I suffered a herniated disc. So the thing is, at that point, when I first started getting colon hydrotherapy treatments, the man that I met, the amazing Bill Jacobs, who was like my own Mr. Miyagi, except that he had a Staten Island accent <laughs> and was half German, uh, he explained to me that in order to really focus on getting the health results that I wanted, I had the first piece buttoned up that nourishing was definitely important. But what he helped me to understand was that what I ate was even more important than just, or, or how I ate what I ate was even more important than just what I ate. So at that point in time, I had no idea that soy was really congesting and inflammatory in the body. And that eating a tempeh sandwich with tomatoes and avocado and all these other things on it were really just accumulating and bulking up my system. But what he helped me to understand was that pairing the foods optimally and sort of really cleaning up the meals would allow my body the opportunity to truly exhale. So what happened for me was very simply, the weight that I had been trying to lose for probably six or seven years, just easily and effortlessly dropped off. My skin cleared up. I had had serious hives and rashes that were a thing of the past. And then my immune system strengthened. I would go from winter to winter and not get sick. I would wake up in the morning and be like amazed at how fresh and clean my breath smelled <laughs> because my body was really detoxifying at a much greater speed. And I truly believe that if I did not find out about this one very specific method of nourishing my body properly, that I'd probably be at least 40 pounds heavier than I am now, because at that point I was about 140 and 5'3". Now I'm 120 and 5'3". <laughs> <laughs> and so I had some really magical things happen just because I learned how to properly pair my foods. Wow. What well, what results in addition to weight loss have your clients experienced? They're endless, but let's give a few that everyone listening to this interview can grip onto. You know, we talk about the gut brain connection and the power of serotonin production being triggered through the diversity of the plants that you eat. So if you're listening to this and you are someone who suffers with really bad sleep, either you have poor sleep because you can't fall asleep or you just don't fall asleep deep, or you wake up multiple times through the, throughout the night, what you're going to see is that when you start food combining, the gas pressure is going to reduce in the body, your eliminations are going to increase, your sleep is going to be deep, and it will be more consistent. You'll wake up feeling more refreshed. You'll also notice, I'm working with a client right now, just literally three days in, and she's had huge shifts just from some very simple tips. If you are someone who feels like around three o'clock, you start to crash. The woman I'm working with now is 50 years old and she's a mom of three and she works full time. And she said, I cannot believe this. Not only did I wake up and have a movement, but, and she's been having a very serious time with constipation, but I did an entire workout routine with my daughter. And that was something that she was really struggling with because her body was in so much pain and discomfort abdominally from all of the gas and the bloating and the tension in her belly that she couldn't move. So it's creating all of these wonderful triggers in other areas of her life. And then I would say, you know, skin. Skin is always a big desire for my female clients, but let's not leave out the men because I, the truth is we all wanna be more radiant. And so when you start food combining, you're gonna notice that the puffiness, the inflammation in your face, in your skin, especially under the eyes, just drops like a weight out of your body. We really have such an incredible power in our own hands for healing the body from the inside out by just implementing a few simple tweaks to what we eat. You know, you talk about the pain and discomfort of constipation or lack of elimination, and those pains can manifest themselves in all parts of your body. They can manifest themselves in your shoulders, your back, your hips, even your legs that can affect the sciatic in your so uh, this is this is important stuff. Yeah, I'm really glad you brought that up, actually. And it's a really perfect example 
of how interconnected the entire body is. I actually remember a client of mine from back when I lived in New York and I was working clinically and had my wellness center doing colon hydrotherapy treatments. And this gentleman used to come in from London for massages with me, but I convinced him to get a colonic one of those visits because he was very big in the midsection. And he only released gas in the session, only gas, no fecal matter whatsoever. And I will never forget, he got off of that colonic table and he was astounded at how freed up his back pain was. Yeah. <laughs> and he wanted me to explain this to him. So you just did, right? It's pressure. It's like women when they're pregnant, the pressure on the lower back as the baby starts to grow. So all of that excess pressure in the body can be headaches, brain fog, pimples when we're in our teens, and a, a myriad of other things. Wow. What, Joyce, what are some easy tips you can suggest for us to get started with food combining? Yeah, I know like any new thing with health can be a little daunting, right? Sometimes yes. you're like, I don't want to change. But here's the thing. We take it really slow and really simple. The best way to get started on any new program, whether it's working out, diet, playing the violin, is to Start with something very simple and don't go into overwhelm thinking everything has to be perfect. Prime example is the woman that I just started working with. She wasn't worried about making mistakes. She just started making some tweaks with the suggestions I made. So, and she had huge results, right? She had two bowel movements two days in a row after never having a movement, I think in the last few months. Oh. So yeah, uh, unless she was facilitating with an enema. So the thing is, when you get started with food combining, I would say this, focus on one thing. We're going to focus on breakfast, okay? The very first meal of your day does not have to be eaten, by the way. If you're someone who just likes to drink something in the morning, that's totally fine. That'll be another interview we do on why. But if you do choose to eat breakfast, then what you want to do is make sure that meal is properly combined because it's your foundation for what happens throughout the rest of the day. You want to think about it like building a house. If the cement foundation is lots of cracks in it, putting anything on top of that is going to be very, very problematic, right? So we want to start out the day with a properly combined meal. I can give you a couple examples of what that would look like and know that even if the rest of the day is not perfect, you are still going to get results because you've improved one third of your consumption. And that's better than zero, <laughs> mathematically speaking, last time I checked. So here's a couple of examples from some really easy breakfasts for those of you listening. I'm going to start out with the heavier foods and then go into the cleaner, lighter foods. So if you're listening and you're just getting started on this, you might feel like eating something a little heavier is going to serve you. So we would do something like avocado toast. If you hate avocado, <laughs> you can pick up some coconut butter which is a spreadable, it's not coconut oil, it's the meat of the coconut comes in a glass jar and you can spread that on some toasted whole grain bread. We wanna try and buy something sprouted, we wanna try and move away from very processed breads uh, because they create a lot of congestion and inflammation and mucus in the system. So any kind of sprouted grain, grain bread that you typically will find in a freezer is gonna be more optimal in terms of cleaning, cleaning up the, uh, the ingredients in the foods that you eat, especially the breads you eat. So avocado toast or coconut butter toast. We want to avoid the nut butters, okay? That doesn't really pair optimally with bread. We want to avoid the jams. Doesn't pair optimally with bread. You can also do things like the Revita crisp breads or rice cakes in the morning and use the, co the coconut butter or the avocado to spread on top. All right, for those of you who are a little bit more advanced, then we're going to go into fresh fruit with avocado. We typically say eat fruit alone or leave it alone. But if you're brand new to this, or if you're just looking to escalate, you might feel like the fruit alone is a little too light. Eating the avocado with it is going to pair well, and it's going to balance your blood sugar. It's going to make that meal feel a little bit more like a denser meal than it would without. And you should be able to cruise through until you're ready to have lunch. For those of you who are a little bit more advanced and you're looking for something a little bit more Olympic, then you're going to go with your fresh fruit eaten completely alone. And that should sustain, should sustain you if you're at a cellular place where things are a little bit cleaner for you. And if you need any other tips and suggestions, there are some links below where you can connect with me. Wow. Thank you, Joyce. Are there any inspiring thoughts you'd like to leave our audience with today? Absolutely. 
I truly believe that you can heal your body naturally from the inside out. And I also believe that when you pair gut health and detoxification, the two most overlooked aspects of healing, you have a recipe for long-term success. And it would be my honor to guide you on your journey. I've got a free gift for you, right? We have a free gift for them, Justin. Absolutely. So let me tell you about that. I have a great food combining chart that's gonna help you to break free of all of your worry around what pairs with what properly and optimally. So right below the video, there is a link for you to click and you can get a free download of my gut love and food combining chart. So you can see the exact outline of an optimal breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And you can also see the exact chart of the different food groups and which ones pair optimally. Again, don't go into overwhelm. Just start with something really simple that you know you can achieve. And I would recommend doing that for like three to seven days until you feel like you're ready for your next step. Wow. Joyce, once again, thank you. And I hope you come back to see us. This has been Justin Case and Joyce Rockwood sharing a glimpse into weight loss made easy with proper food combining. Thanks for joining us. Please remember additional information and links are provided in the videos read more. Simply consider subscribing to this channel and joining Joyce in her journey. Thank you.